Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we're looking at the fourth grade concept of geometry, specifically how we can classify two-dimensional shapes based on their angles or the presence or absence of parallel and perpendicular lines, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So sometime in fourth grade you're going to be asked to identify something or asked to draw something with some specificity. So right here we have something that says we need to draw a polygon. So remember this is a closed uh, shape and it's got straight lines, so no circles, no openings, and it needs to have exactly two right angles. So remember your right angles, we have one that goes up and down, one that goes side to side. Now sometimes you see a little square there to show that it's got a, a, a right angle, and it needs to have exactly two. Well, if I wanted to draw a, let's see, if I wanted to draw a right triangle, I could. So this would be a right triangle, but the problem is, is this only has one right angle. Obviously when we're thinking of uh, right angles, we're thinking of squares or rectangles, but that's going to be a problem because e squares or rectangles are both going to have four right angles. So how could we draw? A polygon that has exactly two right angles. Well, there's only one polygon that lets you do it, and it's a little bit strange looking. So we're going to kind of do it like this. So it's going to look like we're starting with a uh, rectangle, but as you can see, one side is longer than the other. So here are my two right angles, and this last line is going to be a diagonal. So here are my two uh, right triangles, and this, or right angles, this is actually called a right trapezoid. Now we need to know that trapezoids, typically when we think of trapezoids, we think of something that looks like this, right? This is a trapezoid and this is a trapezoid. Trapezo trapezoids only have one pair or one set of, I'm going to use these two L's that kind of represents the, the word parallel in math language, one pair of parallel lines. So in this case, this line is parallel with this line. Well, this is a right trapezoid, it's on its side, but you have this line is parallel with this line. That makes it a trapezoid. It has to have four sides and one pair of parallel lines. And so even though it looks a little bit different than uh, the traditional trapezoid, it is a right trapezoid because two of the angles are right angles. So now we have five figures. And we're supposed to figure out how many of them are rectangles. Now let's make sure that we understand what this word rectangle means. A uh, rectangle is a parallelogram, first of all. And parallelograms are uh, four-sided shapes, or they're quadrilaterals that have two pairs of parallel lines. And there are special types of parallelograms. There are par parallelograms that have four right angles, or think of them as four square corners. So that's what makes something a rectangle. It's got two pairs of parallel lines, and it's got four right angles. Well, most of us recognize figure A as a rectangle. And it's got four square corners. Let's put these right here, one, two, three, four. And it's got two pairs of parallel lines. We've got the top and the bottom. We've got the side and the side. So this, definitely a rectangle. Now, B does have, it's just a regular parallelogram. It has two pairs of parallel sides, but it does not have the right angles. So we're going to say no on this one. C, that's not working. That's just a triangle. Now, D, do we have two pairs of parallel lines? Well, yeah, the top looks like it's parallel with the bottom. The side looks like it's parallel with the other side. Does it have four right angles? Well, yes, it does. So guess what? D is also a rectangle. Squares are just special types of rectangles. This is really a square, but a square is also a rectangle. And then E, we've got parallel lines, but we don't have right angles. So A and D are both rectangles. And if we wanted to put names under each of these, this final shape, E, is a rhombus. So a rhombus is a parallelogram. It's got two pairs of parallel lines, and it's got four equal sides. So we could say that a square is both a rhombus and a rectangle. 